Welcome back to the front room, everybody. I'm Kai, and I'm here with my dad. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to show you an album cover today. Of course, if you haven't seen the channel before, my dad doesn't know which song he's going to react to. So I'm going to just show you the album cover All of right. the song. Yeah. And you can oh. see it. Um, I like it. It's neat. Different. Maybe you Lights. can guess the type of music it oh, is. Oh, man, man. Uh, European techno dance music. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a good guess, actually. Is it? Yeah. Well, it makes me well, think based of on the cover. Yeah. The lights in a in a in a club or something on mm -hmm. the ceiling, maybe or something. I yeah. don't. I I don't know. I don't know. Heavy metal. I, it could be anything. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I'll tell you that I it's actually. mean it's not heavy metal. It's not. No. Um, yeah. It's actually a group that we've reacted to in the past, and okay. that group is beach great. house oh great fantastic beach house yeah song number three yeah yeah yes, yeah yeah uh we got uh one up on um youtube and then we've got one on an, a patreon exclusive right yeah silver yeah. what was that soul. One? silver soul yeah, yeah yeah which is like, beautiful I love songs. That song. both of them just yeah. beautiful and yeah. after space song i yeah. think people are hungry for some more yeah well i'm hungry for and more. some people requested this song I am hungry for more. So I'm going to be showing it. It's a song called Myth. Myth. Okay. They have very they have very abstract song titles. Uh -huh. Silver Soul. Yes. Space Song. Myth. Yeah. Um, and this album cover, I'm just going to give you a little bit of details about it. So they wanted to make an album cover that was completely purely iconographic the way most people see record covers nowadays because of technology as a one by one inch square you know on your phone or a laptop mm -hmm. so very small mm -hmm. and they didn't want to say beach house anywhere mm -hmm. and there's one surprise on the physical versions of the album on the lp and the cd the all white parts yeah the circles are embossed with a hit of six coats of glow in the dark ink and he says, I can imagine you can listen to the music with the lights off and look at the cover too, uh -huh. which is something people don't really ever get to do. Uh -huh. um, oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I think that's an important thing to note because uh, yeah, I think that that might give a sense of what they're trying to give off in terms of atmosphere in the album uh -huh. and the songs. That's interesting because the, uh, the other, the song that we listened to of theirs, uh, uh, from the album with the red cover, mm -hmm. uh, some of our viewers were telling us it's actually it was originally velvet, it had a velvet uh, surface to it. Yeah, for the yeah, LP. So that's quite unusual too. Uh -huh. And then once again, because of the uh, the um, what do you call it, the glowing paint. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing things with their doing, physical they're copies. Doing things, <laughs> they're putting some real thought into yeah. these covers. Yeah. yeah. That's all the talking I'll do, unless you have anything Great. else to say. No, nope, I am ready for this one. All right.
I love that, the music right now, it's beautiful. Gorgeous music. Yeah, it's incredible. Gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, really, really. It was the especially the ending. The way it just it built, but it was it built subtly. You know, it just and then reached this this wave of sound and emotion at the end. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. The percussion was different from um, the other two songs of theirs. It was. I've heard. Yeah. I love the way it opened. It sounded the very first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. The very first instrument I heard was um, it sounded like um, somebody hitting a pot. Mm hmm. Right? It did. I love that. And then some other percussion came in. It was very interesting. And. Uh, but um, um, I'm lost for words. It just, it was beautiful, beautiful stuff. Wow. The chorus reminded me a bit of, um, sorry, Kai, the song of theirs we listened to on YouTube was... Space Song. Jeez, Space yeah. Song, of course, Space Song. Um, it was kind of reminiscent of Space Song, parts of it. Mm -hmm. Help me to name it. Yeah. And certain other parts of the melody, there was a similarity, but it wasn't the same. No, it, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely something from the same group. Um, I'd have to go back and hear Space Song again. I've listened to it several times because it's lovely. Mm -hmm. But um, this was... Um, it conjured up the <laughs> same emotions in me, I think, mm -hmm. as did Space Song. Do you know what they were, or like the just, emotions? Yeah. Or... Um, I don't know. I haven't heard much music before in my life that uh, sort of hit the same note with me. Um, I've heard lots of other music that's moved me, and I've you know that I'm amazed by. Mm -hmm. 
in one way or another. But this this is um, touching a different part of my <laughs> heart somehow. I, it's hard to express mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Um, some of the really early Pink Floyd music from well before Dark Side of the Moon yeah. also makes me feel this way a little bit, but it's different. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, I mean, I don't know any other bands from this genre. Yeah. Dream pop. Dream pop. Right. Um, I love amazing style of music. Yeah, you've Just, mentioned that. Uh, so I'm trying to yeah. think of how it makes me feel. It makes me feel um, sad, but joyous at the same time. Mm. You know? Yeah. It's interesting it's how that it's, Yeah, it's filled with melancholy, mm -hmm. but it's also filled with joy. Yeah. And they really pull that off well. Yeah, they okay. sure do. They sure do. I, I got lost in the lyrics. I tried to follow them. Yeah, that's, um, that's fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, there's got to be some meaning. A band like this putting out music like that, they're not going to just um, throw in some random lyrics. Obviously, mm -hmm. the lyrics have meaning. I'd have to go back and listen again. Yeah, yeah. I think the lyrics are fantastic. Um, they just compliment. She's a terrific writer. If, if she did in, in, indeed write the song. Um, yes. it is a group but, uh -huh. um terrific terrific uh -huh. lyrics you can i'm not going to discuss them now but um y if you after this and you like the song yeah uh definitely just meditate oh, like meditate over them not in a yeah. typical meditation way but uh, there's something to ponder about yeah oh yeah there must be there must be i remember mentioning when we listened to space song that i i said to you these guys can't be American. They've got to be from England or the or um, the continent of mm -hmm. Europe. Yeah. And some of our viewers said, actually, she, I think they said she is from France. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So huh. there's the connection. Right. <laughs> I don't know at what age she came over to America, mm -hmm. but it 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 just has um, it ha the sentiment, the the overall emotion that it brings out is very much. Um, it sounds it sounds European to me somehow, mm -hmm. um, and it sounds very progressive. And you know, a lot of the progressive bands I used to listen to, to which were mm -hmm. very different, yeah, from back in the seventies, were also most of them were from England, mm -hmm. and some were from the continent of Europe. Mm -hmm. But uh, wow, great stuff! <laughs> I'm so glad you liked it because uh, yeah, this this is definitely something that it feels like precious to listen to. You know what? I feel drained a little <laughs> bit, honestly. Yeah, to be honest, a little little drained. Yeah, when you hear good music, it's something that captures your attention to the highest extent. So yeah, it takes a lot to listen to almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for. Uh, Exposed me to this. Really glad you liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for dropping in and, and sharing this moment with us. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my gosh.